think uh, we should believe where the witness were not being qualified to answer those questions. Thank you. I hope you don't mind. Bibilisan ko lang po ito at sa tingin ko po hindi nyo naman po siguro ito aaminin Bibilisan ko lang po ito na We do have a lot of witnesses and that's why I'm making this intervention so we can finish the witnesses. Thank you. I, they just told me my time is up. Well, uh, we will have another time later. Thank you. Uh, you don't mind uh, because we for the third round. Okay, may I? Thank you. Uh, I don't know. We'll, I don't know if we'll have a third round with this witness. Uh, uh, the questions I'm hearing. Ano ko pang relo suot nyo ngayon? Kapagin, Mr. Chair. Pakita, pakita nyo ngayon relo nyo sa akin kung ano relo nyo. Wala. Naipamigay nyo na rin yung relo nyo isa. <laughs> Wala. The, the reason I'm saying that, Mr. Uh, your Honor, is because I, I think we're done with this witness unless you want to recall it. It's your privilege later on. Yes. Because we have other witnesses from the Dabo group and they came all the way here. That's why I'm really in a hurry to try and finish them. Uh, I'm, uh, can I excuse the witness, sir? Excuse me, Mr. Chair. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Your Honor. Pagka tinawag ko namin kayo, hindi nyo alam ang oras, tanongin nyo lang ako kay attorney, attorney nyo kung ano oras. Ano po? <laughs> thank you po, thank you. That's all we can go on. Yes, Senator Gaetano? Mr. Chair, um, may we call PO3 Enrique Ayaw and PO3 Vivencio Humawan. They were also mentioned by Mr. Uh, Matubato, and in fact, they have a joint affidavit that I'll give now to the secretary so that they can see it, so that afterwards um, we may ask questions. But I think their lawyers have asked for a opening statement. I'm not sure. May I turn it over to you, Mr. Chair? Yes, sir. You can turn it over to the committee secretary so we can quickly reproduce it. At least, my buna. Uh, the witness, uh, the previous witness, uh, I think, is not from what, from what I, how I look at him. He's just had an operation and uh, a transplant, and that's very delicate. Kung gusto po niyo, doon muna kayo sa office ko po, dito po sa second floor, para makapahinga kayo ng konti. At para hindi na okay na dyan, ha? If we need him later, we can call him back. Mr. Chair, may I ask Senator De Lima, can we just have him back to... Today or tomorrow, so he can no, no, rest? It depends. Well, uh, we'll just keep him there uh, for the moment. Uh, in the meantime, we're waiting for the other witnesses. Uh, if there are any questions for the other resource persons here, like uh, General De La Rosa I, and uh, under Secretary Catalino, I have some questions uh, uh, from both of them. Uh, part of the, as we're waiting for the others, Part of our thrust here is to find, as you know, no, the main thrust actually is to come out with legislation. Dapat may makita tayong legislation na gagawin. Ano po? Uh, nakikita ko po, mukhang hindi ginagamit yung plebs. Ang <coughs> And I have here the president of the plebs, uh, uh, attorney uh, Ronaldo Reyes, who has been working with plebs for a long time, but it has become ineffective. Why is this so? Because, you know, lahat ng municipality, meron plebs. Ang plebs po ay part of the community. Andiyan ang isang barangay captain, andiyan ang isang kosyal, at tatlong members ng uh, publiko na of a uh, known good reputation. Kung talagang tutusin, ay napapaliwanan ko lang ito, ang plebs po ay eh, talagang yan ang uh, insurance ng tao na kung merong isang pulis na hindi mahusay sa komunidad, nananakit o pumapatay, kagad-agad sa mismong komunidad, matatawag ko yung pulis na yan at pwede siyang litising kagad at uh, pwede mag-recommend na suspension, um, pwede mag-usga na suspension or even dismissal. Uh, ano ko po yan sapagkat ako nga nag-lobby dyan. Pero mukhang dumami ng dumaming rules no, sa internal rules and regulation, naging ineffective. Eh, alam nyo, ako kalaman ako ng mga batas na ginagawa na hindi ini-enforce. Marami ko yan. Sa Comelec, hindi ginagawa. Sa tourism, meron hindi ginagawa. Marami ko yan. 
katulad din dito sa atin. So, would you favor that we amend once again the plebs para ma, talagang mas fortified yung plebs para matulungan ng internal affairs kung saan ay meron lang kayong 700 uh, personnel, di ba? Uh, in the all the, the regions of the country. Kung may plebs, mas mabilis. At anyway, kung ma-appeal naman yan, yung nga lang, so, pag sinuspindi yung polis, hindi siya makakapagdala ng baril, suspindi siya, at pwede siyang, pwede i-appeal sa, sa taas siya. What would you think, uh, General De La Rosa? Your Honor, if I may, ang plebs po ngayon is, hindi po naging ineffective, kundi nagiging insignificant. Tama, oh, no, tama yan. Kasi po, Your Honor, ang kumplinan po ay confused sa dami-dami ng disciplinary uh, disciplining body ng PNP. Hindi na alam kung saan pupunta. Mayroong PLEB, mayroong Napulpong, mayroong IAS, mayroong Ombudsman. Kaya minsan, ang kumplinan, hindi na talag, the list na pupunta na yung PLEB, hindi na nila pinupuntahan. Ang sure. napupuntahan nila palagi, sir, is uh, IAS at saka yung Ombudsman. Sure. Di ba mas maganda kung naandun yung polis, kung saan siya gumawa ng hindi maganda, naandun mismo sa kanyang bayan makakapag-complain. Pabor sa tao yon dahil hindi siya maghingi ng abogado. Kung dadali sa Napolco, pupunta ka pa sa region, pupunta ka pa kung saan sa PNP. Pero itong plebs, kaya natin inisip yan, do mismo. Kaya ang tingin ko, talagang hindi talaga ginamit ng PNP na nakaraan yan. Dahil talagang Masakit ko bagat siya eh. Naandun mismo eh. Bibili siya. At uh, uh, kung doon natin gagawin talaga yan, hindi may hilo ang tao. Pupunta lang sila sa plebs. At mismo doon, malilitis yung administrative charge. Hindi criminal. Administrative. Di ba? Yes, Ante Secretary. Uh, thank, you. <coughs> thank you, Your Honor. Actually, sir, uh, we made some uh, research on the plebs uh, as you <coughs> instructed during the last hearing and uh, tama po yung observation nyo at saka yung observation ni CPNP na the PLEB was uh, somehow uh, 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 neglected or ang part po ng uh, findings namin dito is uh, there is some uh, uh, kulang po sa enforcement uh, basically because uh, the public uh, is not aware of the existence of PLEB kula sa dissemination. Yes, sir. Kaya dun sa kaya dun sa recommendation po namin is uh, number one, to strengthen yung yung pleb, sir, and also to change yung composition. Kasi po ang observation po parang naging political eh, because the members are uh, uh, political persons. So some of the uh, some of the uh, observations sir, is to uh, say include in the composition religious group or NGO or prominent members in the community. Uh, this will uh, avoid uh, bias in the decision based on political association of either the complainant or the uh, respondent. That is the side of the police, right? Yes. Matatakot sila del politiko. Pero on the side of plebs, takot rin ang mayor dyan eh. Dahil ang mayor ayaw nila magkaroon ng poder yung mga tao na lang dyan eh. Hindi ba? Uh, yes sir. This will uh, be very helpful sir considering na nasa locality sir to. Opo. Opo. So, that observation is taken note of seriously because we would like to make it effective because it's already done. And the police will be able to do the police action, but the police will be able to do the police action. Right? So, I just wanted to get that information and thank you very much for your observation. Do you have a question? Yes, sir. We will submit this report to you, sir. Yes, yes. Thank you. Attorney Reyes, uh, would you like to testify for this now? Or do you agree with the... Attorney Reyes is the president of uh, the People's Law Enforcement Board. Do you agree with the testimony of the Attorney Reyes? Do you agree with the statement made by the Attorney Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jalan kaya, jalan kaya. Parang feeling saya nak tolak. Okay, go ahead, go ahead. Sila. Go ahead. Thank you. Can can you take your road? Just last one last question. Para malamak kalau. Can you raise your right answer? Do you solemnly swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth in this inquiry? Yes, I do. Thank you. Do you agree with the testimony made by Under Secretary of Local Government on plans? 
Yes, uh, Mr. Chair, I do, uh, especially on the part of uh, the lack of uh, information on the part of the public and also that uh, I would say categorize it as benign neglect, the attitude that uh, we have experienced in the plebs, that we feel neglected because while the law is good, uh, it empowers the people in the local communities to have a role in uh, law enforcement more especially in restoring the credibility of uh, the PNP in the eyes of the people. Uh, this has not been taken in that light. I would like to just state here na hindi lang panakit bukas to dahil inihintay natin ang testigo, pero sa mga nanonood na nakikinig dyan at sa kapulisan, hindi kayo dapat matakot dito because ito ay eh, talagang uh, sandata ng tao na mismong kapwa nila ang mag-uusga at tama rin yung sinabi ni uh, yung Secretary Ayo na dapat eh, mapalitan talaga yung composition kung inakala natin yun ang problema pero dapat may pondo yan para ma, ma, ma disseminate yung information para ang tao alam na hindi na kayo pupunta sa region hindi na kayo pupunta sa national uh, punta na lang kayo doon kung talagang may complaint kayo sa polis yun nga po ang advantage ng PLEV dahil unang una na eh, doon sa komunidad yung mismo mga tao sa komunidad na nakakaalam at saka doon na rin ang testigo nandun na ho ang, uh, ang investigasyon at uh, binigyan ho naman ang kapangyarihan ng ating club na hanggang sa ma-terminate yung pulis kung talagang karapat-dapat Thank you very much okay. Alright, no questions from the others uh, We now have uh, the witnesses here Thank you very much uh, Thank you General uh, Director General uh, uh, can you please stand up and uh, so we can pursue you the public to you, gentlemen? Raise your right hand. Do you solemnly swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth in this inquiry? Thank you. All right. Uh, can you please state your name, please? Go to the microphone, Bob. I am Police Officer 3, Enrique de los Reyes, I am Junior, Mr. I am 48 years old police investigator assigned at uh, Police Station 9 to book Police Station Davao City Police Davao. Station. Davao, okay. Second, uh, Mr. Maya? I am uh, Vivencio M. Humawan, Jr. Uh, presently assigned at Santa Ana Police Office, Davao City Police Office. And then I am a police investigator. Uh, all right, okay. Uh, Senator Cayetano, did you have any questions? Are you doing? <clears throat> Meron ba kayo statement po? Bago may statement po kayo, sige sabihin lang muna po. SPO2 Enrique de los Reyes. Hayaw. Good afternoon, uh, Mr. Chairman. PO3. PO3. SPO3. Sorry, I think we just made a mistake in the label, but they're both uh, PO3. Okay. SPO1. Your Honor. You're PO1, is there? SPO1, Your Honor. Okay. Kayo, PO3. Ah, uh, okay, thank you. Please um, proceed. Will the, uh, will the pages please see to make the right, the right correction? Uh, before, the I, uh, before I speak, uh, Mr. Chair. Pwede ko kayo magtagalog um, at uh, luwapit ko kayo sa mikropono para marinig ang magandang boses ninyo ng buong Pilipinas. Uh, pina, unang una po, pinapasalamatan ko po si Mr. Edgar Matubato po for uh, promoting me to run science. Uh, and then sabi niya, SPO4 kayo? SPO2 po. Uh, the other one, dahil po, kung hindi sa kanya po, hindi ko po, hindi to ako ngayon, hindi ko po nga magkikita ko naman po muli si Secretary, I mean si Senator De Lima po, at the rest of the members of the chamber. Go ahead. Ako po'y natawag na noon, noong May 22, uh, 2009, Human Rights Year. Doon po, kasi po, regarding doon sa extra summer killing in Davao City. Sa order po ng subpoena po na pinadala sa amin ng uh, CHR, I place in number 9 sa roster po. 